Hi everyone, welcome back to Chemistry with Kat. In today's video, I am going to teach you the basics of unit conversion. Now remember, this isn't a physics channel, so I'm not gonna be showing you how to take meters per second and change that to kilometers per hour. Instead, I'm going to just teach you the basics of changing maybe meters to kilometers, grams to kilograms, kilograms back to grams, or milliliters to liters. Those are the units we use in chemistry and in the lab, and I I want to make sure you guys know how to convert those for the questions going forward. Let's do it. I'm gonna show you this lovely ladder, which I suggest right when you get into your exam, you write this on the exam paper or on a spare sheet of paper they give you so you don't forget it. This is the ladder I like to draw on my exams, obviously not this big. This meters, grams, and liters are your base. I draw three steps going down and three steps going up. Now, going down, we have deci, centi, and milli. This is like the prefix that goes on the unit. So for example, if I was doing liters, this would be milliliters, centiliters, and deciliters. We don't really see centi and deci for liters, but we do for meters. Centimeters are on your ruler. Now, going up, we have deca here, hecto here, and kilo here. Kilo is obviously our most used one. The way I use this ladder is every step is a multiple of 10. When I'm going down the table, I multiply by the 10 or 100 or 1000. And when I'm going up the table, I divide by the factor of 10. Cool? So let's try some practice problems together. Let's say I have two liters and I want that to be in milliliters. So I'm gonna go one, two, three. So I multiply by 1,000 or add three zeros to two. So two liters is 2,000 milliliters. We're gonna learn about molarity tomorrow and in that case, we always have to have liters and they often give us milliliters. So let's say we have 500 milliliters of a liquid and we need that to be in liters. We would go one, two, three, but this time we're going up, so we have to divide or take the zeros away. So if we move the decimal three places from 500, we're gonna have 0 0.500 liters. Another really popular one in chemistry is the kilogram and gram conversion. Usually when we have moles, we need our mass in grams, but we'll see later with thermodynamics, we sometimes need to use kilograms. We have 14 kilograms and we need that in grams. We're gonna go one, two, three and we're gonna multiply by 1,000. So we're moving that decimal three places. We now have 14,000 grams of a substance. The other way is the exact opposite. Let's say we have 14 grams and we need that in kilograms. We're gonna go one, two, three, divide it by 1,000 this time or move the decimal three places over and we're gonna have 0.014 kilograms. Now, remember, this is just the basics. And later on in my channel, we might get into some more complicated units. And if we do, I will make sure to cover them and show you how to use this again, but for those more complicated units. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you liked this short little lesson, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. See you tomorrow.